Governor Greg Abbott is facing increasing pressure tonight to call a fourth special session. The lieutenant governor says there's unfinished business at the state capitol. KXAN politics reporter Daniel Marine has a look at what did not pass this last session and how likely a fourth could be. Things are quiet at the state capitol now that the third special session is in the books. Legislators push through GOP-crafted political maps, COVID relief funding, legislation on trans student athletes, and added some property tax relief to go before voters. But Wednesday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick tweeted, though he feels lawmakers finished a, quote, strong conservative session, more needs to be done. Patrick wants a fourth special session to make illegal voting a felony and to have legislators provide more funding for that ongoing 2020 election audit. But that does not appear to be in the governor's plans. A spokesperson for Abbott told us in part, quote, there is no need for a special session at this time. I'll say it's been an ultra conservative agenda that the governor and his Republican legislature have put forward. Rose Clouston, the voter protection director for the Texas Democratic Party, feels lawmakers missed the mark this go around and should have focused more on the state power grid and getting more Texans vaccinated. They have done everything except for prioritize Texans and what we really need from our government. Political science professor Dr. Richard Pineda says though a fourth special session isn't unheard of, politically, the governor got enough accomplished for his base, redistricting in particular. And that's going to be a big win for the governor and it may be one of those cases where that's a big enough win to make up uh, the difference for, for any shortfalls. Daniel Marin, KXAN News. In a statement, the governor's office also said it feels the legislature went above and beyond to deliver on priorities and critical issues for Texas. How much might these special sessions cost? Well, as is, the 181 lawmakers get 190 bucks a day in Austin. That comes out to more than a million dollars for a 30-day special session. That is still a drop in the bucket for the state's recently passed $248 billion budget.